Well done, everyone. The Great Bridge of Murden is ours. Okay. I was prepared for bloodshed, but that was more than expected. I guess I'm still not used to this. Even our enemies were fighting for their own cause. They held out without fleeing until the bitter end. We must overcome this. Yes, we can't afford to stall here. Now it's on me to return to Alliance territory and convince those lords to join us. Lawrence, would you return home for the time being and lay the groundwork with your father? Fine. After all, this is for the Alliance. Or rather, for all of Foglin. For those of you who live in Alliance territories, I ask that you return to your houses and spread the word about the current situation. Mm. Until we finish our preparations, Judith and the Knights will do everything in their power to defend the Great Bridge. <laughs> That's a casual way to dole out such a deadly mission, boy. Do you object? Hmm. Just who do you think I am? I won't let the Empire pass this way, even if it costs me my life. Hopefully it doesn't. not allowed to die. Fight like your life depends on it, but flee if you're ever truly in danger. A oh, tall wow. order, as always. <laughs> I'll use my best discretion, Claude. We have no objections either. Go forth and secure us a sufficiently powerful army. I'll stay here too. The only ones I'd be going home to are my little sis and my grandpa. Are you sure you don't want to see your sister? It may be a while before you can return home again. But if I see her, I may not want to come back. So I'll wait till I'm done here. I'll stay here too. I mean, I don't got a place to go to. to come with me, Teach, to help negotiate with the lords. Okay. Followers of the Church of Seros, after all. It'll make things easier if we have someone there to speak on Rhea's behalf. All right, everyone. Let's meet back at the monastery next month. Good luck out there. Well, okay. Is that you kiddo. Oh, is that Claude's dad? I have returned, Nardell. Oh, ah, Master Claude, it's you. I mistook you for one of the local children. My apologies. Hmm? It seems you have adjusted to your work here. Our recent strategy was successful, thanks to you. Wait, who is this guy? I was a bit concerned when House Goneril's army intervened from the east. Count Gloucester must have requested reinforcements from them. Yes, and they have that young general who won some acclaim from his battles in Almira. Yeah, uh, studio as it is, like, I don't know, it's pretty cool that it isn't just portraits. I still think, like, the cutscenes aren't, like, super high in production value, but they work quite a bit. Uh, it reminds me, actually, there was this other game I played recently. It was uh, Atelier Lulua. Uh, it handled cutscenes kind of similarly to this game. It, it's kind of weird, but it, it works. Regardless, they showed no signs of seriously wishing to attack us and merely fulfilled their <laughs> obligations to House Gloucester. Now then, who is this handsome fellow? This is my professor, who I asked to join me at the roundtable conference. Teach, this is Nardell, that retainer Judith was talking about. Mm. Nice to meet you. Mm, how polite. I've heard good things about you from Master Claude. As you can see, he wasn't born in Fodlan. Still, trust me when I say he is highly capable. True! In fact, my capability is my only redeeming quality. <laughs> I hope you'll continue to look after Master Claude, Professor. By the way, is this stream running fine, if I may ask? I did notice I was getting like a few more drop frames than like my test stream, so just wanted to be sure on that. I'm gonna save down here. Okay. Part two, Verdant Wind, Great Tree Moon, Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murder. The Alliance Army invades the Imperial territories. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. Oh, okay. It's funny, I always forget how short that is now. Because we've already kind of seen, like, the months, so they're just kind of explaining what's going on with the plot now. Man, it does feel like everything is moving by a little bit faster now. Not, like, too much, but, like, enough. Um, which is nice. <laughs> the early parts of the game was just, like, it, it got pretty slow. 
Yeah. So how are you doing today, studios? You having a good day? All of that went about as well as it could have. Each lord has agreed to provide us with soldiers and supplies. I'm impressed you were able to convince all of those scattered nobles to help us. I thought they would quarrel about how much support they should each provide. That's what they usually do. <laughs> well, Count Gloucester took the initiative in taking on responsibilities. I presume that was because you spoke with him in advance, Lawrence. I merely explained the situation yeah. at hand. And my father simply followed your lead, Claude. It was because you had the professor there to represent Lady Rhea. My father is a pious follower of the Church of Seros. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I wasn't under the delusion that it was my personal charm that unified everyone. Thanks for that, by the way. I hope you don't feel like I used you, because I sort of used you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't mention it, dude. I appreciate that. We don't have time to be picky about our methods. But be honest, you're having a hard time adjusting to your new role, aren't you? You weren't even a follower of Seros to begin with, and somehow you've ended up as a representative of the church. I realize that you might feel guilty about deceiving the believers for our cause. But this is just what the Archbishop wanted. She's the highest authority in the church. Besides, as wielder of the sword of the Creator, it's undeniable that you're special. I think you should be more confident in yourself. Use your position to the fullest. I have news. Our enemy is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. Their army is immense. Mm, but here we go. General, or perhaps even... Ooh. Here we well, go, guys. That would be interesting. If we can defeat the Emperor, then the Empire will collapse. There's something else. An unidentified army has approached the Great Bridge of Murden. Hmm? They pass through the Daphno and Gloucester territories from the northwest with incredible speed. They're raising the banner of House Blathed. Perhaps they are the remnants of the Fargus royal family. Oh, we know who so that is. Tell, they pose no threat to the citizens of the Alliance, and so we refrain from engaging them in needless combat. Maybe they hope to fight against the Empire to avenge their fallen prince. And what about the bridge itself? Obviously, we wouldn't let them pass without receiving envoys first. We thought they may try to force their way through. We considered firing warning arrows, but they left immediately, heading east. Are they intending to use one of the bridges in Ordelia territory? Most likely. But the Imperial Army still controls those bridges. I can't imagine what they intend to do in the Empire, even if they do manage to break through. I'm reluctant to ease up on our surveillance, but it would be difficult to track them there. For now, let's assume they're just troops belonging to the Old Kingdom. In any case... I mean, we know who that is. Soon we'll be entering Empire territory ourselves. If our enemies are going to intercept us with an attack, it will probably be at Grander Field. How fitting that it was the site of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion five years ago. Oh. Oh. Everything's coming back together. It's going full circle. Oh, we got a paralog available? God dang it. <laughs> I'm not going to make progress. Uh, maybe the paralog won't be too bad. All right. You, Claude accepted the silk dragon armor from Nardell and obtained the certification for the Barbarossa class. What class is that? Look at him! Dude, that looks sick. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep you on that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, sweet. Well, anyway, we are going to go ahead and explore this time. And, to make sure I don't forget, um, <laughs> because I know me, um, I actually brought out my amiibos since I am up here, and I'm gonna be using them and getting... You know, little bonuses from it. So let's go ahead and explore and go to the Amiibo Gazebo. I still love that freaking. <laughs> okay. This is the Amiibo Gazebo. <laughs> when you scan an Amiibo here, certain items will appear at random in the monastery in all your save files. You'll get higher quality items for scanning Fire Emblem character Amiibo. Each Fire Emblem character Amiibo may also provide unique re rewards. Heck yeah. Alright, so. First one I'm going to be doing is Roy. Uh 
It should work. <sighs> Amiibo scanned? New music option is available for auxiliary battles. Premium items can now appear near the, near the Amiibo gazebo. Sweet! Let's do another one. We got Roy. Alright. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we got Robin. Okay, so there we go, guys. And uh, you guys get to see it, I guess. I've had these around for a while, uh, but hey. And I actually opened up my Roy one, partly because in packaging, it, its box kind of got damaged anyway, so I figured why not. Um, so let's go ahead and connect to this controller. Okay. So there we go. So that's all the amiibos I got. Venom Stone, Bergamot, Vulnerary. Okay. Well, sweet. Okay. So with that, we can probably scan every single, you know... Is that what that is? Oh, hello, sir. Hey, I could use a hand. <laughs> find an herb that will help calm the nerves of the soldier in the Knight's Hall. You may find any need growing in the greenhouse. Sure. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and talk to Catherine and Aloise. Beyond the Great Bridge of Murden, it's all unfamiliar territory for us. We don't know where Lady Rhea is being held. We ought to investigate all potential locations thoroughly. The Knights of Saros will handle the search. We'll report back if we learn anything. There he is. Word just reached me that the Empire has stationed soldiers in Fort Mercius. If they decide to dig in their heels and defend the fort, we'll be in a difficult situation. I hear it's an impregnable keep, surrounded by high ramparts. Taking it would not be easy. No. Hey, Ingrid. I've cut all contact with my family since joining this fight. Were I to see soldiers of the Galatea family amidst the host flying the royal family's banner, I... Well, all chance of reconciliation mm. with my father would end there. I do not know if that is the right path. But the fact is, I've come this far. There's no time for second guessing. Not anymore. Hello. I've got to keep this place clean. And I mean properly clean. Every day. Dust it, sweep it, everything. You never can tell when Lady Rhea might be back. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. <laughs> I hear we're sending troops to Grander Field next. Is that what's what? That whole area is in the territory of House Bergwitz. It's famous as the main granary of Foden. If we could capture it, we probably wouldn't have to worry about food anymore. Bread for all. We might see Edelgard herself leading the enemy in the next battle. If they're coming out of Fort Mercius, our troops might even clash on Grander Field. And those other troops on the march. Who knows what they'll do, or what side they'll take. Not sure how we're supposed to form a strategy with so many unknowns. Don't worry, I can handle it. Actually, no. As long as you're here, I'll be fine. Hey, how come you only ever flatter me in times like these? What am I supposed to make of that? Dang it. We've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. But this one I might go with Leone. Is that right? Reminds me of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. But of course that was a very different time. When it was over, all three class heads complimented each other on their bravery. And then we had a party. But we can never go back to that, can we? Oh, hello. Since Little Claude became their leader, the Alliance Lords haven't been especially unified. Now they're suddenly united for a common cause. As a result, the Empire hasn't been able to perform even one successful incursion. Hmm. Rather, we're the ones who might get the jump on them. It's incredible. Magical, even. Hmm. Maybe his strategic genius was simmering for those five years, and it returned to a full boil once you two were reunited. Or maybe he always knew he'd meet you again, and he was preparing for that this whole time. So, we're finally moving into enemy territory. We can expect the war to get even more intense from here on out. Mm -hmm. I'm really feeling the tension now. I have almost no experience with battles of this scale. Professor, I'll be grateful for your leadership on the battlefield. I know I can trust you. All right, well that helps things. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Lysith. I trust you and Claude, but I feel uneasy. If we lose in the next battle, the Empire's army will likely come surging into Alliance territory. If 
that happens, my parents won't escape unharmed. They've raised their anti-imperial flag after all. I won't let that happen. Thank you, Professor. I'll fight with all I've got to. Speaking with you has eased my mind a bit. Just enough, in fact, to put me in the mood for sweets. In front. Um, hello. So I have... Hmm. I need to get to another... So I guess I was leveling this one up. Might as well. Let's increase our authority. You're all set. Okay. I just can't. I, I have an impulse to complete. <laughs> so... Apparently, they were flying the flag of the Fargus royal family. Do you think it was Dimitri's ghost? Oh, I think it's more than his ghost. Before he ever wore the crown. Surely he must regret that. Hmm. Well, either way, let's go ahead and talk to you. Let's see, who is this? Oh. No joke, I've lost the book where I write all my puns. I can't ink of it anywhere I would have left it. Quill, you help me recover it. Hi, Raphael. How's it going? I say, it's tough to keep the fighting spirit alive when you recognize your enemies on the battlefield. Everyone gets that feeling. So you can't avoid it, huh? How did everything get so messed up? Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Well, it's kind of interesting because, uh, how do I put it? Because people have pointed out something, by the way. I haven't really, like, noticed it too much because I haven't played the other routes yet, yet I guess. But supposedly, um... Were crossing the borders of the Empire to battle their army. I never thought I'd see the day. You'd never guess mm, when the crime sir. works on everyone's faces, though. I mean, we're probably all gonna die, let's be honest. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look like you're in the middle of a crisis either. Oh, um, perhaps that was a little rude of me? Hmm. Actually, it's the Great Tree Moon now, isn't it? Not that anyone's in much of a mood to celebrate the new year, of course. Hmm. Oh, everything's gone full circle. But yeah, uh, people have pointed out that, like, a lot of the characters in this route are, like, super chill, but supposedly they're not, like, so chill in the other routes. Which I think that's an interesting juxtaposition. Um... And also, like, this crew does kind of remind me of, like, Awakening a little bit, as far as, like, the goofiness is concerned. So I'm very, very curious what it's going to be like doing the other routes. Um, so, yeah, anyways. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, Shamir's down there. You know I got it. You know I got it. <laughs> Alright, where is she? Hello, sir. Since you secured the Great Bridge of Murden, trade got a lot easier within the Empire. Nevertheless, profits are rather thin compared to how it was five years ago. You can't be much of a trader unless you're prepared to traverse the whole of Holden. Hmm. Well, I got an arcane crystal. Hey! Hello, Shamir. Reconnaissance is becoming more of a risk the deeper we move into enemy territory. Hmm. If I don't come back, assume I'm dead. Don't say things like that. I know you won't get I'm caught. Think so highly of me, but we have to be realistic. Don't waste your energy worrying about me. Should be <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, hmm. do I want to train my bow a little more? Frick it. Okay. Level C, close counter. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh, without further ado, let's also go ahead and talk to Anna. Hi. Um, let's see, what do you got? A whole lot of those. I'll say that for sure. I could buy a Hexlock shield. Is that, the one? that seems like that's a good deal. Thanks and a critical a ring. Is that the one? That's pretty good, too. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Well, either way, um, let's go ahead and uh, exit out of that menu. As long as that stuff is around every single time, that's going to be really nice because then I can just continue buying things until, you know, I've bought it all out. Which is still probably going to take a while, don't get me wrong, but it's cool that that's a thing. Um, hello, Flane and Ignots. 
And then I gotta go talk to Flane. Oh, that's why Flane's there, though, because of the support. Um, hello, Flane. The battle of the or no. Lion. Has it truly been five years since then? Can you recall whether it was before or after I joined your class, Professor? I think it was before. It was before. That is not at all the case, Professor. Your memory serves you poorly. It was shortly after I joined your class. I remember it like it was yesterday. Wait, no, it was after. I meant she joined before. I got it. This. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I still gotta listen to all those supports too. Hello. Thanks to our victory, I've been able to study the Great Bridge of Murden at my leisure. And you know what? It's an astounding structure. So much history there. Imagine how much time and effort it must have taken to build something that big. Over water, no less. I hope that someday it will be opened up to the people of Fodlin. A historical site rather than a military checkpoint. Well, that's a nice way to think about it. All right, let's do the support. What's wrong? Oh, hello, Professor. How nice to see you. You caught me off guard. I was actually just thinking about you. Why the sigh? Just a moment ago? Well, I... I... I, I am afraid I just do not understand you. When we first met, I sensed something different about you. Something mysterious. And now I am convinced. Your existence itself is very special. Thinking on it, I know it to be true. You have a crest that should have been lost long ago. You wield the sword of the creator as if it is nothing. Mm. Your hair and eye color changed on that day five years ago. To the same sort of color as mine and my brother's. What does it mean? I do not know. My brother refuses to speak to me of it. Since then, you have led us into battle, and thus far, we have always come out victorious. Your comrades and colleagues adore you. They believe in you, in your strength. Mm. I doubt there is a single soul who is likened to you. Who are you, really? I don't know. I simply do not understand. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, having hair like mine is proof that there is something exceptional about you. I may as well come forward with things. Hmm? I too am unlike others. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get confirmation on this. Surely you recall when I was targeted, specifically for my blood? I may not be special. Sabbath is gonna be are, mad about this. But my blood is rare. It seems the two of us share a special differentness. I also believe that we are bound together in some way. Of this I am certain. Therefore. I intend to stay by your side and watch over you. Your existence must be preserved at all cost. I would rather protect you, I guess. Certainly those are the words of a hero. <laughs> Let us unite our powers. Together, we are unstoppable. Dude, random NPC. That was the most perfectly timed grunt. Just like, after I have this like meaningful conversation, you know, with this small child, this guy's over here like, God, this freaking lolly over here. <laughs> uh, for real though, actually, I, I think Flane is pretty great. Not like waifu material or anything, but you know what? She's freaking adorable. I, I don't know. It's, she's a good character. Honestly, like, there's so many memes about her too, so maybe that's like, swayed my opinion a little bit, but I don't know. I think she's a really good character. When undertaking research, the usual method is to form a hypothesis, then test it with experiments. Those experiments reveal facts and falsehoods, yet sometimes they also unveil an exception. You hmm. seem to be that exception. When it comes to my crest research. I don't understand. Worry not, Professor. 
exceptions are what make my work interesting. Why don't the rules apply to you? I will find out eventually. I feel it is my destiny as a Crest Scholar. Okay. Well, you keep out of Hanneman. So the Boar Prince is dead. Decapitated, I hear. I haven't seen the severed head myself. Perhaps he's still alive and leading that army. See, Felix knows what's up. Would you be able to find him? Patronize me. If his head is still attached to his body, I'll remedy that without hesitation. Either way, a major battle awaits us. Try not to die. I'd be annoyed if you did. I mean, what did he do, though? Like, as far as I've noticed, Dimitri hasn't really done anything aside from... I mean, I don't know. Okay. Well, we got an axe tournament today. Um, well, it's gotta be Hilda. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that double. Frick yeah. Never let your guard down. Heck yeah. Okay. Way to go, Hilda. So now we gotta win this one. Come on. Boom. Oh no, 10 damage. What will I ever do? If someone starts doing more than 10 damage and has a crit rate, though, I might heal her. We'll see. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Hmm. Gosh, look at all the skills she has, though. Alright. Now this one could be a little nastier. Unless well, the semi-final, might as well. Go, Hilda! You got this. Wyvern Rider versus Wyvern Rider. Okay. Come on, miss. Dang it. Okay. Now that one could have gone badly. But it didn't. So, I think we're good. Alright. So, Hilda, you need to... Oof, oof, oof. I don't like that. Alright, well, let's go. Come on, Hilda! Yes! Way to go. Alright. We got a silver X+. plus. Perfect. Alright. And that's why Hilda is the best. So, yeah. Anyone else that is ready to go? Oh, we got another support. Who is that with? Oh, Hanneman. Okay. Well, that's neat. I guess we can find out more about our crest. Um, hmm. Oh, wow. I can choose flame. No. But, uh, okay. That's interesting that that's an option. Yeah, I missed the opportunity for that one. Well, I'll find out in the blue lion route, that's for sure. Take some time for Lysith, though. I wonder why. Um, then there's Lorenz. Honestly, yeah, I'm really getting there as far as, like, building supports with everyone. Um, let's see. So, Seteth, uh, I guess he has one with Leone. Let's go ahead and just look at our supports. Because we have to do that before our fights. Hello, Leone. Imagine you are here to fish. Yeah, this is a great spot for it. Fishing for flame. <laughs> fisherman, huh? I wonder why. Actually, while I have enjoyed the hobby for a long while, I must admit I am less than proficient. Now that you mention it, I can see you're not having much luck today. It is likely because I am not using any bait. Well, that explains it. But why bother fishing at all if you're not even trying to catch something? Truthfully, I fish only so that I might relax. It is soothing to me. Cast the line and watch the water ripple. My days are busy, even hectic. It helps to find peace and quiet every so often. Oh, that makes sense. Still, if you're going to go to all the trouble, you may as well actually bait the line. Maybe so. But to my chagrin, I do not even know what type of bait to use. I learned to fish by accompanying my wife. She was always the one to bait the hooks. 
She would hand me the rod, and I would cast my line. I never paid attention to how the rest was done. Ah. Huh. And your wife, where is she now? She passed away quite some time ago. Since then, I have only to fish on my own. Even so, I, I find peace out here. Bait or no bait. What about you? Why do you fish? Freaking sad it, man. Just for the fish, actually. For me, it's purely practical. Catch a bite now, one less meal to worry about later. Hunting, fishing, whatever it takes to get by. That's how I've always done it. I'm not exactly starving right now, but back then, if I couldn't catch something, I'd go hungry. So getting the hang of it was pretty vital. Mm. <laughs> I would certainly say so. I imagine it is intensely satisfying to catch a fish when the need is so great. Probably, yeah. The need makes it more purposeful. But hey, if you ever want to try fishing for real, I'd be happy to share my bait with you. And if you catch something, I'll cook it up nicely for you. How's that for motivation? <laughs> Oh, hey, are you a skilled chef also? Can't promise it'll be fancy, but it'll taste good. Impressive. Wouldn't you know it? I am suddenly overcome with the urge to accept. Great. Let's get started. Ah man, freaking Sadith man. Freaking Sadith man. He's a good dude. I don't know. I don't know. I just like the <laughs> all these characters, man. It's such a freaking great game. All right. Well, Marianne has one with Raphael and Ignatz. Well, let's uh, let's check out the Ignatz one. This one ought to be nice and awkward. Huh? What's that about? Marianne, I saw you on the training grounds earlier. It looked like there was an argument. Hmm. Oh no, it was nothing. Are you sure? Nothing happened at this morning's training. Well. Okay, tell me what happened. I... I just couldn't keep up with the rest of the group. Everyone got so mad at me. They said something about looking into their eyes so I could read their movements. But I couldn't do it. They may have a point. I'm a mm. hindrance to everyone. I just... I can't do it. Marianne. Of course not. Believe in yourself. <laughs> It's hard to accomplish anything on your own. Look at me. For myself, I'm worse than useless. Can you see where I'm going with this? To succeed, you have to cooperate. You can't do that if you're not paying attention to nonverbal cues. Huh? Please, try looking up. Looking people in the eye. You'll see some things that you've never seen before. People worry about you and rely on you. You'll see that on your allies' faces. In a way, you'll see what they're thinking. You... you may be right. It was my fault for looking down. Mm. Thank you, Ignatz. I appreciate your encouragement. Of course. Look, we both saw the sunset and appreciated its beauty. Nature communicates without words. We can do the same. We don't need to speak to be understood. Stop staring at your feet. Look at us. That'll be a good start. Ah, oh, man. I can certainly try. Hmm. <laughs> is, is something wrong? Did I say something to upset oh, you? Oh, quite the opposite, I think. Oh, no, to the contrary. <laughs> I just realized that I was missing something. A thing of remarkable beauty. Right under my nose. Remarkable beauty? Uh, what? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Oh, my heart. <laughs> ah. All right, so we got Ignatz and Raphael. Oh, we finally get to conclude this arc. Hey, Raphael. Reading a letter? Well, if it isn't old Ignatz, I got a message here from my sis. Oh, a letter from Maya. I haven't seen her in so long. I bet she's all grown up. Nah. She's still a shrimp. It's been a while since I saw her, but she's probably only up to your shoulders. Wow, I can't believe she's gotten that tall. I wrote to tell her about how we're friends again. Do you remember this? Is that the picture I drew for her? She sent it along with the letter. 
<laughs> I guess she held on to it since we were kids. Ah. Uh. All right, that's enough looking. She said to show it to you and send it right back. <laughs> the thing she's handling my little doodle with such reverence. It warms my heart. I remember the day I gave Maya that drawing. She looked so happy. Before then, I never knew I could make people happy with art. It was a that's revelation. how it started. I've been drawing and painting ever since. In hopes of becoming an artist one day. You're much better now. So it must be paying off. I bet you could be a real artist. No, that's not possible, I'm afraid. I have to consider my parents Dig not. Who cares what your parents bring like? out that brush? Like <laughs> okay. Nothing. Your fate is your own. Huh. You think so? I know so. And I'm gonna support you with whatever dream you got. Okay. Let me see. What's the first step to follow your dreams? Oh, got it. You should paint me. Uh, paint you? <laughs> I'm just imagining yeah. him just doing I that. I little sis to know how good I'm doing here. So, I gotta send her proof. Plus, she'll be doubly impressed if it's a painting you made. <laughs> good point. <laughs> I can certainly try to capture your likeness. I'll paint you with a warm, cheerful expression on your face. To bring Maya comfort. My face? No way! You gotta get my muscles in there! Mostly my chest and arms. Are you sure that's what she'd want to see? <laughs> Wait! Before you start painting, I gotta get me a little training in. My Freaking Raphael, dude. Thing, and what's the point? This I'm man loves sure his muscles. This. He's gonna bump you up. Alright, so... <laughs> there we go. Uh, Raphael and Marianne. Let's see how this one ends. Marianne, come here, quick! Oh, wh what's wrong, Raphael? It's that bird you were talking to. I just found him. <laughs> see, right there on the lower branch. That's got to be him. But he looks a little sad for some reason. You're right. Um, do you mind if I handle this? Hello there, Mr. Bird. How do you do? Hmm. Yes, I see. I see. So your food supplies. <laughs> food? I got it. <laughs> I completely understand. I have seen more people and birds foraging for berries lately. It would be ideal if those berries were growing in another forest nearby. Then you wouldn't have to. Are you hungry, Mr. Bird? I got oh my gosh. What you need. Are those... Bugs? Yuck! Look at him go! He's loving it! He's gonna get so big and strong after this! That was... disgusting. But... how did you know he was hungry? I could tell by looking at him. He looked hungry and weak. More importantly, I saw what you did. That bird wasn't speaking human. So you're not speaking <laughs> I knew it! Oh! I'm sorry, Raphael, but I need to tell you the truth. I can sort of understand what animals are thinking when I look at them, but I can't speak to them. I'm sorry for leading you on. Oh, I see. What about me, then? Can you tell what I'm thinking when you look at me? I, um... Uh, <laughs> no, Raphael. I can't. Well, of course not. You're not even looking at me. You gotta look at my eyes. Uh, this man with his freaking scary eyes. Uh, I guess I just gotta tell you. I'm thinking it would be nice if you talked to me the way you talk to animals. What do you mean? Everyone here is just hit it on Mary Ann. God dang. And friendly. I just wish you talked to me like that too. I'm so sorry, Raphael. I didn't know. I. Oh, unless it just means a general in a friendly way. <laughs> Whoa! I've never heard you laugh before. I should have talked to you and Birdies sooner. Cheap to rot, cheap to woo, cheap to me. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that one. I said you gotta eat bugs to grow big and strong, just like Mr. Bird. Ah, I think I'll have to pass. And then you see like the support thing drop right after that comment. That'd be kind of funny to see. Just have a mode where. You just see like 
everyone's real time support levels and just like how the conversation goes. Just so have like a little meter that kind of goes up and down. It reminds me of uh, actually. There was a review of like the Star Wars prequels, but someone was like talking about the whole uh, stupid romance plot in uh, Episode Two, and uh, every single time they had a strikeout, you just heard like a. <laughs> I don't know, like, Which I'm not gonna bother explaining it. some elements of your power that cannot be explained by current theory. Although this may lead to a discovery that alters the very fabric of Crest research. <laughs> oh, pardon me, Professor. I became lost in thought. They love to say lost in thought. This has to be on purpose. We call it a day. Do you concur? I'm fine. Keep talking. <laughs> No, no, you mustn't push yourself too hard. When you are not in battle, you are so often here with me. I get so energized speaking with you. Well, I must remember to pull my head out of the clouds. Hmm. That said, perhaps we should discuss things unrelated to crests from time to time. Some sort of silly, lighthearted topic might be nice, eh? Do you have one in mind? I'm not especially skilled at small talk, alas. Let me see. Perhaps we should discuss... Hmm. I know. Food. <laughs> not my strong suit, the culinary arts, but I do enjoy a good meal. Which kind of food do you prefer, <laughs> Professor? Sweet or spicy? You know, I'll be real. I I'm definitely more of a spicy guy. Spicy? Quite the opposite of me, yet you're an exception in lots of ways, so it's not altogether surprising. An old colleague of mine theorized that those who bear crests favor sweet flavors over spicy. She suggested that the crest exerts some manner of influence over... Oh, there I go again. How <laughs> That really reminds me of me. Avoiding talk of crests, weren't you? I just tend to be so, like, narrow-minded onto the things I'm interested in. I really should find a way to stop that. I feel like, honestly, real talk, like, I mean, if it annoys you, you should be honest about it. So in this case, I mean, but I don't mind hearing him go on about it. It's more world-building. That is kind of you, Professor, but it's all right. If you were to lose your patience with me, it could have an incalculable impact on my research. That sort of thing has happened in the past, you know. Back when I was still in the Empire, mm. at first, any lady I was spending time with would titter and say she didn't mind if I talked about crests. But at some point, she would always become fed up and stop listening to what I had to say. In the end, Invariably, while I was particularly focused on my research, she would write to say we were done. You may be a man, but I still don't wish for you to grow tired of my company. Oh, that's real. God dang. Yeah, that, that's some real cred. I weirdly relate to that. Uh... Also, I want to look at our uh, supports and how that actually is going, because I know, like, as far as this crew goes, like, okay, so I need um, another support with Ingrid and Sedith and Manuela, two with Aloise. I don't have one with Catherine. I could train with something with her. I don't know. Um, hmm. Probably swords. Okay. Well, either way, uh, let's go ahead and actually let's go to where Catherine is. I'm going to spend uh, one of my activity points real quick. Professor, beyond the, we don't know the nights of so let's go ahead and boost my sword. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Lawrence. <clears throat> 
wherever the heck he is. Oh, I see him over there. Lawrence, why do you gotta be so far down the hall, dude? Something else. House Gloucester has changed its allegiance and joined the faction that is against the Empire. The Alliance will thus remain united. But thanks to this latest ploy, my father is more suspicious of Claude now than ever, if such a thing is possible. Ordinarily, I might credit his helpful posture toward us to his devout faith in the Church of Seros. But it is clear to me now that this is nothing more than a shrewd calculation on his part. He is only thinking of his position. We are in the clear for now, but please bear in mind that the Alliance is never an entirely stable union. Mm. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I wonder if his dad's going to be turning on us at any point. Wouldn't surprise me. We have not met him. That's one thing. Hello, Seth. Each time we press forward, our search for Rhea broadens to a wider area. I certainly hope we will find at least some clue. But I do suspect I already know where she is. If I'm right, then she is in the Imperial capital. And we cannot save her until we topple the Empire. Yeah, that's certainly interesting. Alright, where is Claude? Uh, well, he's not there, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay. Well, that answered my question. We secured the win in our first skirmish. But the next battle is a different matter. The Empire will come after us with everything it's got. Even so, the ultimate victory will be ours. And I'm not just saying that. I've made ample preparations to ensure our victory. Oh, dear. It's my rule to never leave victory to chance. You can't rely on the protection of the gods. Oh, dear. With your power and my schemes, oh dear. I should be able to plot a direct course to victory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. Whatever you say. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, after that one battle, I still don't trust his schemes, man. I hear the next battle could be a big one. Is that true? I miss the old days when if someone got hurt, we'd rush them to the infirmary and make them well. But on the battlefield, there's not enough time to help. People die. Professor, don't be one of those. Don't worry, Manuela. I'm gonna do my best here. Okay, so... The other thing is, like... Hold up. Let's back up for a bit. Alright, so, like, from a distance, when he's, like, de-rezzed out like that... Anyone else think he looks kind of like Rail? Just me? Okay. Well, either way. Um, let's go ahead and move over here. Uh, it's not my first Grail comparison. If this mysterious military force is the remnants of the kingdom, I think there would have been the possibility of a united front. But from what I've heard, that's going to be difficult. Their behavior is very erratic. Their clamoring for revenge and death is probably better if we have nothing to do with them. Hmm. Yeah, that's the other thing with, like, Dimitri's group. Like, I wonder if we're going to end up fighting them, but I feel like we should just, like, I don't know if anything we should join sides because, you know, we're both going to be after the same person, all things considered. Um, we'll see about that. Um, hmm. Anyone else around? Well, I guess I got to have my uh, next support conversation, which is with someone? Is it Catherine? Okay, so let's head up here. Oh, yeah, I gotta go over by my room, as it were. Professor. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, it's because I just did that training with her. Yep. Let's go ahead and talk. Yeah! I will not yield! Yeah! It's been a while since I had such a close call. Not for you, Professor. I wouldn't have made it. I didn't expect to be ambushed on a simple scouting mission. Are you hurt? <laughs> you should be asking about the mission, not about me. I have to ask, Professor. What brought you here? Uh, I'm just gonna do the cool one. Why not? Hmm. So you came to protect me. I'm beginning to understand why your allies love you. These are selfish times. One doesn't expect to encounter selflessness. You're kind. In that respect, I'd say you're much like Lady Rhea. 
You think Lady Ray is? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, she's also yeah. I was an outlaw in Fargus. She took me in and let me live here. Hmm. Yeah. You. Yep. Okay. Didn't I tell you? I was born into House Karen in Fargus. They used to call me Thunderstrike Cassandra. I was implicated in a plot to kill the king. It was a totally false accusation, of course. I had to flee the kingdom, and the archbishop took me in. Oh, wow. Yep, why did you come to the monastery? I used to be a student at the academy, so I knew I'd be safe here. Lady Rhea saved me once when I was a student, you know. We were tasked with battling monsters, but right. we were ambushed. I almost died. Lady Rhea took care of me. She didn't mind getting dirty. She took my muddied, bloodied body into her arms. Since then, Lady Rhea has been my inspiration. I will always serve her, protect her, love her. For some reason, when I think about Lady Rhea, your face comes to mind. You've become an important presence in my life. I, I'm honored. I wasn't expecting you to have a positive response. I'm not thrilled about it personally. I am still going to keep my eye on you. Not so I can report to Lady Rhea, though. Just because I want to. Well, okay. There we go. That door's open now. Um, I mean, she's okay. She's actually... Yeah. Ah. Catherine's good. <laughs> well, wow. I already have so many S support choices. Oh, dear. Alright, but I mean, it's really going to be between two people, so, you know, that's neat at least. Um, hmm. Let's see, where... Well, let's go ahead and go to the cafeteria, and then we'll eat some food, and then we're going to inevitably unlock some more sports, and then we can finally get to some fighting. Um, I do want to try out, you know, the music for my amiibos as well, um, but we do have a paralog as well to do. Um, hello, dining staff. Um, let's see, so, probably Lorenz and Ignatz would be good. Get their motivation up. I did not expect much from the this... <laughs> All these lines of dialogue that I feel like are, they're references to other games, I swear. Alright, um, so now we got Lysith. And okay, let's choose a different batch. Leone and Cyril. Yeah, should why not? I don't think they have a support conversation. That, this is <laughs> okay. Well, at least they're more motivated. Um, full menu. Actually, let's go ahead and go here. Um, hmm. Why not? Um, hmm. Strength plus one. Dex plus two. That'll help. With, like, I don't know, if I fight monsters for some reason, it'll My definitely help. So good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? Sure. Hmm. I do so enjoy. Alright, so everyone is getting plus two defense. Where's well, that's good. And my professor points, they're, it's almost there. Ugh. Okay, let's go ahead and... Hmm. See, so yeah, Lysith really needs this. Uh, who else? Well, I guess everyone else is motivated, which that's a first. Um, let's go ahead and do Lysith and... Mm. One, wait, oh yeah, that's right. She does have one with... Hold up, okay. So Lysith and Catherine. We'll get a support going there. Okay, almost there. My professor points are almost there. Okay, I got a new one with Manuela. Ain't that neat? 
Um, let's have Catherine and Lysa. Lysithia, do you have a moment? I do. What do you need to speak with me about? I was thinking about the time we talked about our crests bringing bad weather. Hmm, yes. We never did get to test that theory since I haven't found any sun bringing folks. <laughs> Joking aside, each crest is unique in how it impacts the bearer's life. I've seen more than my share of crest bearers after all. Some of them bore crests of Karen like us. Some even bore crests of Gloucester. Certainly. But I don't see your point. I'm not a crest scholar. I don't know all the details. I have a knack for guessing a person's crest just by looking at them. Mm. Forgive me, but do you have two crests? Uh, um, well? You don't have to tell me. I mean, it should be from the kingdom. to bear two crests. So if you do have two, you must be sitting on some major secrets. It's nice to know that someone understands. Of course. Everyone has things they would rather not talk about. For all you know, Catherine's not my real name. Maybe I'm an outlaw on the run from my homeland. <laughs> that can't be true, can it? Uh, okay. <laughs> I was kidding. Though, who knows? Maybe there is some truth in it. My point Cassandra. is, no matter what secrets we're keeping, I'm still me, and you're still you. I do worry a little about you. You never seem to let your guard down around other people. That can't be easy. You know, it's important for you to relax once in a while. I don't even know the meaning of the word. Mm. That's easy. Just gab with your friends about something pointless, and the stress will fade away. I'm always happy to chat, if you're interested. Well, thank you. Why are you being so kind to me anyway? I just feel a certain kinship with you. We both have crests of Karen, and we both have secrets we can't share with anyone. I see. I will say I'm happy to have someone around who actually seems to understand me. Good. You can feel comfortable with me. Since we have the same crest, we're basically sisters. Wouldn't that be a twist? Uh, I... I really like that. Someone as wonderful as you is my big sister? Well, don't you just say the things. <laughs> That's my little sister for you. That's a fun dynamic. 